Hello guys, this is Pop from Pop back at it again and today I'm gonna show you the deck list that I reached uh, that I used to reach 25 25 KTP in the second stage of the KC Cup of course a non-tiered deck, a rogue uh, a defined rogue deck uh, so of course you won't see this in uh, on Duel Links meta side in the tier list uh, of course it's heroes uh, some of you that have already saw the uh, already seen the um, live streamings might already know what I'm talking about but I wanted to uh, make a video about this because it was actually pretty nice um, the win that I got and the basically the tech that we were using in order to face the meta so um, this was actually guys specifically used for the KC Cup uh, I'm not sure how, of how this deck could perform in the King of Games rank even though it could have very good chances anyway guys before jumping right into it just a quick reminder if you enjoy the content please leave a like and subscribe I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot let's jump right in that so i'm here with jd new bell because of course the deck is uh, with the skill eternal bond so we all know what it does we basically can normal summon these two guys uh, every time we want and when we summon them uh, we can grab a medical contact from outside the deck or we can grab a super poly if we summon yes actually no we can we can grab a super poly anyway or if we have a u bell we can send it to the graveyard and basically go all the way through the ultimate nightmare form so uh, of course this makes basically the deck rely on a lot of searches because these two cards become uh, searchers basically uh, and uh, they plus the skill gives you a monster that you can inflict a lot of effect damage with so um, this is the deck list, uh, of course the core is that one, just one Neos Wiseman in order to get advantage from the effect of Neos Kluger, one Grand Mole because we do want to have access to Grand Neos that we can, we can keep on summoning thanks to the medical contact that can be uh, um, created um, without any limits, so very nice as well, also this is basically a known targeting uh, Non-destruction removal, so this can be very nice against Chaos Max Dragon as well to remove it, or Leo Dancer in this case, now that we got the new Lunar Light support. Uh, one Super Poly, double Summoner's Art in order to increase the chances of, of uh, having Neos, that's very good, especially if you have U-Bell, because basically if you have U-Bell and Neos in end, you can go, your end, your final fields could be um, the Ultimate Nightmare plus the Neos Kluger, one of the Toughest fields to go um, to, you know, to break. So very nice. Couple of book of moons. I'm playing ever all the decks at uh, at two, just not to overdraw them. One Neos Fusion because I love the idea of playing a Neos Kluger, and as you will see in the replays, a lot of times. But actually, if you followed me during the Casey Cup, a lot of times. I just summoned a couple of Neos Kluger and the second one was probably the best because, you know, your opponent usually can get rid of Kluger uh, bouncing into without active, actually without triggering the effect of summoning Wiseman, but that's very tough to make it happen twice. So once you summon the second Neos Kluger, 99% of the times you're gonna get the Neos Wiseman out of it. So that's why you want it too. So one Neos Fusion, then Double Dynamishka is very good. Um, the only bad thing, of course, is that you have to discard, though. So that's the thing. But um, yeah, I just love the fact that I could banish stuff face up without actually any restrictions. Bad thing, though, is that you can't summon this from the graveyard because the skill locks you into elemental heroes. So um, during the live streams, I was wondering why could I not summon this, and I didn't notice that. But it's because we can only special summon elemental heroes with the skill. Then the spies for this meta, transmigration prophecy. This was almost a an instant win against PLS, more than a DD Crow because you know. We did it crow because, of course, the target of this card is going to be the um, the Super Soldier Ritual in the graveyard, okay? But while we did it crow, you just banish it, and if they have Envoy, because they summon a BLS, they can actually make everything come back to the to the to the graveyard. So, mm, you know what I mean? But 
uh, instead with the transmigration of prophecy, because you actually send it to the grave, uh, send to the deck, they have no way to make it back to the graveyard unless they draw it. So they are stuck with all the ritual cards in their hand unless they draw the chaos form. They literally can't do nothing. So very good. Also, keep in mind these can recycle your cards as well. So you can basically target a new Skluger if you want to summon another one, or you can actually recycle the Super Poly. Don't forget about it uh, last but not least this was a spicy suggestion of uh, of the chat so a lot of people actually suggested this thanks for that my boys and it's clock and dagger normal so it's very cheap and it's basically a banish on summon but you have to declare the monster so this works for example with all the tannies because tannies before special summoning themselves they reveal themselves so you can declare you can chain this declare the name of that card your opponent revealed and banish it on summon same thing for example for um BLS as well, if your opponent just added the BLS Legendary Swordsman and then they added and they uh, actually played Chaos Form, you can chain these to Chaos Form in order to banish the Legendary Swordsman that is just about to hit a field. Um, we have more examples as well, you can go for Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, you can go with uh, also if you're predicting what your opponent summons or to stop your opponent from, from doing certain combos, for example against Owl Twins, if they have Li uh, if they have the Kisi kill on the field and they're going to summon Lila, the Link one, you can clock Dagger chaining to the effect of Kisi kill in order to declare Lila so they are forced not to summon Lila and they do not get the pop basically so very very nice uh, I really I underestimated this card in, uh, at the beginning now I I actually understood the potential for the extra deck pretty standard I went with the double news Kluger uh, Gaia, Excuridao, uh, Grand News, The Shining, Brave News the, of course, the the Shining, uh, Iskuridao and Gaia are just for uh, the Super Poly, are Super Poly targets basically. Of course, the rest is uh, for Miracle Contact and Neos Fusion. This one instead could be a nice idea um, just in case you uh, wanted to recycle more Heroes Monster because of course with this you can put in, in the Fusion Summon with the Miracle Contact of course, any uh, elemental hero fusion. So in case you can just recycle the new Skluger as well with this. So that's that's was that was the idea behind Divine Nears. But of course you can replace it with any other um, uh, attribute, a, a particular attribute, elemental hero fusion. I, I don't know Nova Master if you're having trouble with uh, Solomon Great or stuff like that, or Tornado if you're traveling against Speedroid and stuff like that. So guys, that's all of all the explanation. Uh, sit there and enjoy some of the best replays of this KC Cup second stage that of course I made it live streaming uh, that took me to hit 25k DP with this deck during the second day I guess so that was very nice a very nice run love that and let's jump right into them here we go my boys, forgot to tell you guys that in some duels uh, that you'll see in this replays, I was playing, it's not here, but I was playing a fuse line instead of clock and dagger, so basically another attack that can pop a card in the same column, uh, can be face up face down, you have no cost, but of course the card has to be in that column, so you're gonna see some plays with fuse line as well. So um, of course clock and dagger is just better in terms of uh, um, being accessible to free to play players. So we have blue eyes to begin with right here and yeah we got there you go this was the fuse line I was talking about of course as you can see it's just very nice card it's a UR though from a mini so uh, I happen to have three and then tried to I decided to try a couple so you bell right here to begin with very nicely nothing to um, usual skill you know but we have uh, we had no neo so I decided to go for neos this dude was um, sure to survive of course thanks to the allowed life barrier summoning dragon speed of white to pop my transmigration but I still have another one so I'm chilling anyway the the boy the spirit dragon to begin with a synchro summon and then he went with the blue eyes dimension in order to get the monster reborn at this point he's going for everything right here but 
here comes the spies transmigration targeting the monster he targeted for the reborn so a beast comes back to the deck and he has no monster reborn so that's how i stopped them he went melody awakening dragon to uh, grab the um alternative plus a blue eyes white dragon is going to summon it of course and then is going to use the effect to pop it now blue eyes to go for lethal but guess what a fused line saved the day um, and he had only this to attack because alternative white dragon uses the effect to pop so he couldn't attack that turn now it's our turn we can just go uh, Neos to begin with using the skill to grab a medical contact because you already have the super poly at this point we don't need the book of moon super poly into the shining now medical contact into Neos Kluger to end this attacking there using the effect to uh, do some damage popping itself summoning wise men and having a little we also add the uh, the shining so that's how you do it my boys there you go second duel my boys we have chats it was pretty weird to see chats but that's because of course with the archive skill we basically any character can have access to the legend of heroes and playing um live twin i think in fact this was live twin in the end so we started just with you bell of course a pretty good uh, actually decent turn one but uh we had to grab the neos of course and uh it was of course, Avalton, as I told you, key skill to begin, cross wipe to pop a card to get rid of the trap card. Very pretty bad, unfortunately. A Lila to get its effect, summoning all the way into Lila again. Same combo as we know, we saw this. I guess I, I bet you saw this as well, tons of times. Uh, Lila, Kissy Kill, and so on and on and on. Um, at this point, this is the spice as soon as he activates the effect of key seeking we, we chain the transmigration and basically shuffle into the deck any target so the blue one basically if he has the 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 pink one on the field you want to target the blue so he's got nothing to summon look at that and he's uh, stopped there he's got secret password adding the live twin home um and actually waiting all the way for it because he wants to have uh access to the pop he's got light on the field though so we're chilling for now starting with neos all the way grabbing the he went for the effect because of course uh not only to draw a card right here actually very nice he had the perfect card ballista so he make he made room to summon the lila from the graveyard so uh he popped my neos so i just went at this point for miracle contact not for silver poly anymore miracle contact now but it's got just another pop and that's fine because now we have kluger so he went with key sigil with lila popping my Ubel, but that's fine attacking with kluger getting some damage done because we're chill and if he pops this we're gonna get in wise man exactly what he did i guess to pop though the set card not my uh kluger so he's going with lila again grabbing the uh, Kisiki drawing a card into another Kisiki again and then triple sat that was tough not done yet you will hit the field once again the terrors of the overroots in order to set my book of wound that it's basically useless against that i went all the way to super poly to got rid of uh that monster going for lethal it's not done yet he's got the um ice dragon prison this duel was insane uh level draw level draw sense low level look at that cross wipe to pop my book of moon so i can't do nothing kissy kill again all the combos all the way again with kissy kill and lila hitting the field uh and drawing look at this uh we're not in, we was a, an insane duel this dude is left with five cards in the deck we're not done our draw was neos i was actually the the good one because now eternal bond can get us a miracle conduct here comes the second kluger it's gonna be so uh spice there we go attacking with kluger and apparently he's got nothing but maybe it was just a ballista even if he pops with ballista kluger come summons wise man that has lethal that's how you do it my boys there you go third duel my boys of course bls um we we faced tons of bls 
uh, but it was expected, right? So uh, it's Astigo first, a very wonderful end that actually can end up on double news Kluger, and I think it was what we did in the end. So, of course, all the way from Yubel to Ultimate Nightmare, then uh, grabbing the Super Poly, uh, I just decided to set a couple because I wanted to keep a monster to discard for um for the either the super poly or the dynamishkas so just one kluger we're chilling and now we're waiting for for his stuff i would have loved to get the transmigration prophecy but still so dynamishkas all the way i didn't want it to wait uh, but it's got enemy controller so i uh, didn't let him let him drop but still it's got an envoy as well he used the effect to basically summon my um wise man out then it's not done yet summoning um, the bls legendary swordsman but even if he attacks nothing can happen actually it inflicted 3k damage but now he's done can't do nothing against this field attacking first with nightmare getting some damage done and then boom with wise man that activates its effect even if it's destroyed as a result of a battle keep in mind that that's what makes this deck good and i think what has to be nerfed wise man and ultimate nightmare just a fact cutting off in order to synergize with the rest of the dual links effect damage that we have that's how you did my boys there you go fourth duel my boys let's see what we have it's uh him to go first but it's not uh, uh bls it's gandora orchest so he's got the combo to begin with with the gear gigant using its effect to grab of course an orchest monster so now he can use the skill to grab gandora discard the orchest monster and his children so uh that's the combo there you go so you can go discarding the orchest or that the arp order that is going to summon another monster from the deck all the way to galatea we can speed things up we know what this is going uh classic orchest gandora with the babel on the field of course um is going into the attacker as well my draw phase using its effect to basically grab to basically summon uh, a, a norcus monster to negate something that targets but other than that he's got no uh, he's got the dingir so he's got the dingir in the graveyard plus the skeleton so this means that at any time you can just use skeleton summon dingir and send a card i control to the graveyard so we started with you belt he didn't decide to stop us uh, at least there so we can go on all the way uh, into of course the ultimate nightmare we have no neos so we can't do nothing right here other than adding a neos then i went with triple set and he went with skeleton of course to use the effect of the girsu and send the uh ultimate nightmare to the graveyard now we have the the, the set card to survive right here um he started with the uh, uh orchest automation then dynamishkas of course to pop he used the effect of decal talker to negate but guess what fuse line now to pop the decal talker so we're, we're now we're chilling uh, even if the dynamishkas was negated but now uh, he can still use his normal summon silver gauge he's got another summon actually just attacking here guess what book of moon to save the day and let's see what he has in the graveyard now he's got just uh, he's got a nightmare that can set a skeleton so you can summon this again i don't know why he didn't do this honestly but he's doing this now so skeleton in the graveyard i just started with uh Ubel again all the way because now we have neo so we can grab a miracle contact with the last Ubel and summon a new Kluger on the field so eternal bond there you go medical contact had it to my hand medical contact to summon of course the new Kluger uh, set a card start attacking getting some damage done and then Kluger for some more damage and now skeleton to summon the Galatea though not in gear suit because he just wanted to uh, uh, search actually to recycle monsters i guess he went for the red gauge then link summon into long girsu the or the orchestrated going all the way into ding girsu of course sending who though uh actually decided to attach then orcus return it was showing even more cards um to go again with the uh nightmare with the nightmare but at this point he wants to go with gandora but i still had my uh set card because the point is even if he summoned gandora he had 
different uh, ganduras in the graveyard. So what could I have done was, was just to use Transmigration of Prophecy to return the other type of Gandora so that he only had one. At this point, even if he pops cards, I'm going to summon Neos Wiseman and he can't go over that. So even if he lost for time limit, there was nothing he could do thanks to Transmigration of Prophecy targeting the Gandora's monster he had in the graveyard. That's how you're doing, my boys. There you go. Here we go, my boys. This should be the fifth one. This was one of the best BLS duels that I had uh, in the whole run. So it's him to go first. Endemian, of course, to begin with. Uh, with the Artemis grabbing an Endemian, using it as a fact, of course. First summoning a BLS, grabbing the uh, normal Black Luster Soldier, then drawing a card and return one to the deck. Uh, then triple set, classic BLS opening. So we started with a summon Art, unfortunately, was all Neos in my hand. Uh, then I went all the way with Neos to grab, of course, my Super Poly, and then he went Book of Mooning. That's probably not the best idea because he thought that the card that I set was Super Poly. But even if that, even if you set that, even if you set this monster, I can still go with Super Poly. So. He, he, he just said it, I'm fine, I just went super poly all the way into the shining to get rid of that and then try to get rid of this other one. Uh, he used Lost Wind, but guess what, I attacked anyway because I didn't want him to be able to draw another card. So we're chilling now with this, he went with Super Soldier Ritual and at this point he summoned the uh, BLS, the normal one. Of course he's grabbing the Legendary Swordsman plus the Ritual card. So guess what, now he uses Chaos Form, I could Chain Clog and Dagger declaring the legendary swordsman so what happens is now he summons him and guess what happens both gets banished there you go uh, now attacking I have the book of moon but I decided to save it so now transmigration of prophecy a little bit in delay now so I just summoned my Neos but now I had to wait grabbing a miracle contact I can't do nothing for now I just have to wait stand by face transmigration of prophecy making the super surge ritual come back to the deck so he can't summon anything else book of moon to stop the BLS and uh, we just finally drew you bell that was uh, what he does but he's got the book of moon guess what we can still get another medical contact and use one of those to still summon a kluger um keeping the nears on the field it's got lost wind that comes back but we don't care he still has got book of moon though so okay uh, we have to wait uh, again he's got another envoy now and here comes the misplay. He should have just banished the Kluger so that basically he had um, the, the Kluger's effect would have not activated. Because thing is, the effect of Kluger activates only if it is face up when it's when he leaves the field. So instead, he decided to attack, um, attacking again. But he forgot that now Kluger gets its effect live. Wiseman is coming, and at this point, there's nothing he can do. So we just had the Dynamishkas. I'm waiting now because I was um, literally afraid of uh, of his. Uh, actually, I was afraid of his Lost Wind. I know that this is Lost Wind. If I attack and he negates my effects, I just lost because I have 500 life points, right? So I went with the Dynamishkas to get rid of the Envoy. And now we're just waiting now because we can't do nothing. Sitting, drawing more back rows, we're just uh, stalling at this point because none of us can do nothing. I know that is a, a, a loss to win. He went with the Mastery and here comes his move. Getting the, the Magist, the Endymion, equipped with Varram. What Varam says is that if it's equipped to a monster, that monster, when it attacks any monster, uh, it can be popped by the effect of Varam. So Varam can pop anything when it's equipped to a monster. So what he wanted to do, and was a very good move, was to negate the effect of Wiseman with Lost Wind. So now, if these effects are negated, what happens is that this card can be destroyed by card effects because it's negated. So... As soon as he attacked, I waited for him to declare the attack, then the Book of Moon. But not his monsters, mine. Because once the Minus Wiseman is booked on, when he's flipped up, he gains his effect back. So he gets the damage and, and he loses. That's how you do it, my boys.
There you go. Last but not least, this should be trick stars. Let's see what we have. As only angel trick, of course, I have the clock and dagger. Uh, new fusion to begin with, one of the best start, of course, was we have the protection from an eventual dark call or stuff like that. And still, uh, triple sat, he's got the light stage to begin with, so he didn't even have to search. And he went all the way targeting my uh, Dynamishkas. That was actually nice because I still can't, I couldn't have not used it because I had no cards in this card. Can Dina to begin with, um, uh, grabbing the Trickstar Festival, so at this point he went for the, the token summon and I decided to go for the and Dagger and uh, guessed he was Crimson Art, right? So, um, but he went instead with Ollie Angel, of course, he okay, didn't summon the one that I declared, so, and he got some life points, but he can't do nothing really because even if he pops this, it's still gonna be trouble. You know what I mean? Uh, because Kluger summons wise men, so I some I got my Neos using the Eternal Bond, grabbing the Miracle Contact, summoning another Kluger. It's got Diddy Crow though, so with Diddy Crow I actually can't summon anything. So that was a very good move. But at this point, I can just attack, start inflicting some damage. He's got Carbo Bane to boost his uh, boy, but I decided to uh, to let myself pop. Why? Because at this point I can summon wise man. This dude is 4k. It's more than 4k. So I can just attack into it. Even if I uh, take the damage, the effect of wise man activates and he gets all the damage 4k to the face. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. So guys, that was all for the replays, the best duels from my KC Copter and of course also in the live streamings that you can find, you can find the bots on the channel. Um, nothing guys, this was a very nice experience, a little bit ruined by the problem that seems YouTube is having, the issues that he's having with um, some accounts not be able to see is smooth live streamings they actually having troubles and see a lot of lags uh, i've tried my best to see what i can change but it's not on my end guys i hope this message um uh reaches the most amount of people it's not on my end i tried also to stream with the same settings on twitch and there was no delay at all so it's actually youtube having this issue I hope it gets fixed soon because it's really ruining the experience for a lot of you and for me as well because I'm sad when I heard you saying that you can't enjoy the live of course because with lags I don't blame you so I hope this gets fixed soon anyway this was everything for today's video let me know what you think in the comment section down below thanks a lot for watching and as always see you in the next one